you are welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen and also we should draw the development of the figure and we should also draw the complete plan of what of the figure now the first thing you do just like we did in the previous two videos is to start drawing from the plan right now I will just take my set square and I am going to extend, draw a line, right, is what I have. And I will place it this way and I will draw a vertical line this way. You can see that? In doing that, I will extend this more in this fashion. So where they meet at this point will be the center of the circle since i'm having um, a diameter symbol behind this figure here means the plan the circle that the circular base right it's a cone so i'll just take my compass and i'll measure half of 64 which is um, 32 from 0 to 32 and I'll place it here and I'll draw a circle this way All right I'll draw a circle this way which I'll go to tick in this manner and I'll project the ends of the circle in this manner All right I put at the end of the circle and also the ends of the circle. You can see that now at any given radius, I'm going to join this base. This will be the base. I'll thicken it this time, right? I'm going to thicken it because from here to here is thickened. You can see that now the height is given to be from here to here, and that is what 64, which will be. From here somewhere around here which is 64 I'm going to measure 64 from 0 to um, 60 this is the 4 yeah 64 64 this is 64 right and I will now join this point to the last point here to the apex point and this to the apex point here you can see that now the next thing i'm going to do is to place um measure a distance from those points i'll just extend here first i'll extend here first and i'll measure 38 that is from here to here which is what 38 so i'm going to measure 38 from zero to what is 30 is 38 here so at that point i am going to project it downward again project it downward again faint line so from that line if you measure that from here to somewhere around here i will measure 54 as shown here so from the base here let's see this is my base from here i'm going to measure 54 so with the help of my compass, my meter rule, I'll measure what? 54, which is this here. So at this point here, that will be the point. I'm going to place my compass, radius of 50, from here to here is 50. You can see that. And I'll place it where it meets the height of 54. And the length of what 38 from the apex point of the center of the um, cone. I'll place it at this point where they meet, and I'm going to draw this, which I'm going to take in. So at that point, I'm going to take in the rest from here to here, as shown in the figure. And uh, from here to here also. 
You can see that. So we successfully drawn that out. Now the next thing is uh, to place your compass at the apex point here. Take it to the lower base here. And you draw this. You can see that. Now the question is, how will I divide this line? This is called the circumference. Is by dividing your circle into 12. So I'll place this, the radius of the circle here to here. I'll mark up. For the same radius, I'll place it here. I'll mark up. The same radius, I'll place it here. I'll mark left and right and right. Now I'm going to generate, as in draw lines from that point through the center of the circle this way. And I'll do for the other one here also. Then I'll do for another one here also. Then I'll do for another one here also. You can see that. So this will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Right? So the same compass here, I'm taking radius of any of these two divisions, any of them. I'm going to place it here. I'll start. This is 1. This is 2. Eleven, twelve, right? And I'll start doing that by saying this is my zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Then I'll start drawing the line through the center towards the apex of the cone right right so from here we've done that now the next thing we'll be doing is to start generating those points now the first point here is this i'll call it is zero this will also be what zero right i move zero to zero so i'll take my compass this at this point towards the zero point here you can see that and i'm going to draw the arc That again, so this point here will be also what zero. Now I'll go to one, I'll move it to one here. Let me bring this down. You understand what I'm trying to say? Right, let's bring that down this way. Now the next thing is, I will project this point, point one, to the center. I come here. I'm coming here. This will be one, and I'll generate it towards the center here. So where it meets here, I'm going to move that point to touch the circumference. The Sides of the what the cone, right? That will be point one there, and I'm going to use my compass on that point, take it to one here, and see that take it to one. I'm having this so that point you've seen. Is point one so where line one meets one here and where line one also meets one here 
You can see that that's uh, point 0.1 and 1. I'll do the same thing also. I'll come to 2 from this point. I'll take 2 up. Where it touches here is point 0.2. I'll reduce it to the center, to the apex point of the cone, to where it meets here. I'll draw a line to the center, to the side of the cone. That point there will be point two. And I'll take my compass, place it here. You see that? And I'll have this. Right? So where two meets two. At this point, and also at this point, two that's yeah, so the line of two, two, two meet two, and two meet two here. Similarly, um, I'll go for three, this is for three here. I'll take it to the center this way, right? That'll be point three, and Toward the center here, the apex point, take it to 3, and we're going to draw. So that is for 3. Now, where 3 meets 3 is here, this 3 meet 3, and where 3 meets 3 also is here. Right? Then I'll do the same thing for 4. Of four up here, that is four. Then you take it towards the center. Now, this is the line of point of four here. I'll move it towards the center this way, and that is four. And I'm going to take my compass and place it at this point to point four. I'm going to have this. So this is 4. So where 4 meets 4 is here. And where 4 meets 4 is here. That is the point 4 there. Right? Now the next thing here is um, 5. So I'll move to 5. This is 5. Where 5 meets 5. This way. At this point is 5 and I'll take it towards the center This is 5 right then with the help of my compass this way 2.5 and I'll draw an arc again so This is 5 also Right so where 5 meet 5 is here. This is 5 the arc of 5 within the line of 5 here and 5 here also, meeting 5 here. Right? Then the last one, not the least, is point 0.6 here. So I'll take it towards the center there. Then at that point, I'll get point 0.6. So this is 6. Right? So where 6 meets 6 is here. So with the help of my French curve, I'm going to join this point. So from here. This is what we have here. And I can usually use my compass and just get this off. So this is the compass. And I will just give this. So, this is what we have here. 
right? This is the development of the figure. It is displayed at the right hand side of the screen, right? Now we can easily, if you are not asked, like what I've done in previous videos, I just show the how the plan will look like. Sometimes it might not be asked. If you are just told to do development, you focus on development, right? But if you are asked for do to show the plan, also the complete plan, this is how to show the complete plan. So we'll move forward. So what I will do here is just projecting all those points. This is zero, right? This is zero here. I'll project the zero line downward. Is where zero meets zero here. Then for one, this is the line of one here. I'll put it downward. And if the line of one is coming here, this is the line of one here. And also another line of one here. Right? Then the next one is two. I'll take it down. This is the line of two here. The other line of two here. The next one is three, so I'll just from here, take it to the center here, to this point here. Now place it here, and I'll mark three and three. Then I'll come to four. I'll do the same thing. I'm going to mark four to four. I'll come to five. Put it down. I'm going to mark. 5 to what? to 5 then for 6 here take it down this is 6 here so I'm going to join those points together using my French curve this way that's what we have here right so we have um, successfully reproduced the figure right I display at the right hand side of the screen please if you found this video is helpful if you want to get in contact with the rest of the two videos you can click on this link at the top right corner of the screen right or you can wait at the end of the video it will pop up so if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and also subscribe. Thanks for watching.